Clyde Butcher and Elam Stoltzfus stopped to experience Cape Romano, 10,000 Islands Aquatic Preserve. This subtropical gem is located at the northern end of the 10,000 Islands on the Gulf Coast of Florida. The Cape Romano, 10,000 Islands Aquatic Preserve represents one of the few remaining undisturbed mangrove estuaries in North America. An amazing wilderness habitat world exists within the network of pristine mangrove forests, coastal shorelines, rivers, and lagoons. 10,000 Islands is one of Florida's undiscovered wild places. Only a few people are adventurous enough to explore the rugged subtropical landscape, one of the last natural environments in this country to be inhabited by humans. Gary Litton oversees the management of Cape Romano 10,000 Islands and fosters partnerships for stewardship of the area with the local community through his role as the manager of the Rookery Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve. And our mission is to provide a basis for informed decisions through research and education. What we're really doing is we're promoting informed stewardship. Science and education are very, very powerful tools, and we can help the community in Southwest Florida prepare for the challenges ahead by using education and science to help them really focus on the need to, to be good stewards in the future. So while we've got pristine, functioning, healthy estuaries in the Ten Thousand Islands, the real challenge ahead of us is how are we going to sustain these coastal systems in the face of that kind of unprecedented growth. There's a huge economic value associated with, with these estuaries. If you look at what's happening in the state of Florida, for example, in 2001, there was over $4 billion generated in fishing expenses. And when you begin to connect what's happening in aquatic reserves like 10,000 Islands, serving as a nursery for recreationally valuable fin fish and shellfish, and you tie that to aquatic reserves statewide, and then you begin to look at the $4 billion being spent every year in fishing, then you can appreciate there's great value there. Collier County has one of the highest metropolitan growth rates in the United States. The estuarine environment is ideal for sport fishing, boating, hiking, sailing, bird watching, and more, providing the basis of the Naples area economy. When you fly over the San Thousand Islands, you're looking at one of our nation's last real gems. This is an, an undisturbed coastal ecosystem that's still very much intact. It's still functioning, it still works, and we have an opportunity to even make it better. We can improve it. If we can get good cooperation from folks living in the community, and we can get private and public sector interests working together.